Goich, uh, one of our county commissioners, I believe he just actually left, but we appreciate him uh, being here to support Bill. Uh, also, Pam C. with the uh, County Airport Authority. Don Lee, I believe I saw Don Lee in the room also. And uh, James Sturgis, a member of our CIA. I'm going to read through a very long list of uh, host committee members. I think it's pretty important that uh, this group of people have chosen to step up and support Bill and, and agree to be on the host committee. Uh, some of our elected officials, unfortunately, were a little bit too busy to be here tonight, but uh, they all eagerly lent, lent their support to Bill. Uh, we have Senator Elizabeth Benequisto, uh, Senator Mike Bennett, uh, I believe also uh, uh, Supervisor of Elections uh, elect, uh, Representative Ken Roberson, and Representative Doug Holder. Uh, those were our hosts, uh, the host committee that actually uh, probably sent one of you the invitations and helped get you all here tonight. Uh, Dr. Mark Asparilla, uh, Walt Bethel, Bill Dryberg, Chris Evans, Jill and Chad McCrory, uh, Todd and Callie Rebel, Byron Russell, he may not be familiar to you with Cheney Brothers, um, Will Stout, Andy Stoltz, Rick Trewergy, Jerry Waxler, and Gary Bain. So I think they, uh, they all need a round of applause for it. I'm not going to say a whole lot. There, there's one quote that I heard. I, I don't know where I heard this. I probably am, am plagiarizing or copyright violating somebody. But somebody once said that the people that run the, the world or that, that, that really make things happen, the people that choose to show up. And I, I personally would just like to show this small bill uh, that I'm thankful that he's shown up to run for this county commission race uh, seat. And uh, we look forward to you getting in there and actually being able to make some stuff happen, Bill. You're here. Yeah. I also like to recognize Bill Volke, he's our REC chair, and uh, Lorraine is here today, too. Thank you very much. Um, uh, it's, it's been a fantastic ride, folks. I jumped in December 12th, and it was basically due to the fact that uh, I, I can only complain so much for so long. And um, I, I either have to step aside and check out, or I have to fully engage. And I chose to fully engage after a conversation with my lovely wife, Andrea, who's here this evening. And is, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, not a one-person decision. And um, in, in talking about it, I thought we'd have days of debate or conversation. Because many people think I'm out of my mind for doing this. And I might be. But, you know, one of the things that's important to me is we chose to move here to live our life not just to retire here. And I want to be engaged and I want to see us do the best that we can for Charlotte County. And that, that means a lot of things to a lot of different people. Um, I'm not going to make everybody happy every day. Just ask her. She'll tell you. <laughs> but I will try to do my best to make decisions um, when it comes time to make decisions on good factual information. Um, what Charlotte County is missing a lot, in my opinion, is good, respectable debate. And I think that um, I've had conversations with, with Stephen R., and I've had conversations with Ken Doherty, um, and also with, with Commissioner Duffy. And I believe that we will be able to have some good, respectable debate, because to come to the best decisions of Charlotte County, you have to debate the issues. And I think that we can do that without backhanded comments, um, and without disrespect. And, and it has gotten better, but it hasn't been perfected. So hopefully, um, the commission that comes in after November 6th will be a professional commission. Um, I, I want to thank everybody for their support. It, it again, has been an enjoyable ride. I've met a lot of people. I've learned a lot about how the county's operating. Um, I've been involved with the county and the Board of Zoning Appeals. And, you know, that was a very good committee, if you will, to be involved with to help learn how you make decisions sometimes that don't always satisfy all the constituents, if you will, in an area. And, and I understand what that, what that means. It's a very good board. It does a lot for our area. And I think the involvement with, uh, with that board will help and has helped to prepare me. Uh, I have not just been campaigning. I have been working so that I can hit the ground running. And I spend two to three days a week in the commission uh, chambers or in the uh, offices or with staff learning and trying to prepare myself as well as campaigning. So um, I'm not taking anything for granted. 
but I am trying to be able to hit the ground running so that we can deal with things professionally and proficiently. Um, and we're all already talking about some structural changes in how we operate that we think we can bring to the table that will move things at a better rate, more efficiently, with better debate. So with that, um, again, thanks everybody for being here. I appreciate the support. I really appreciate the vote. And I appreciate the funds because this does not come easily. And um, we're, we're doing well. And without you, it wouldn't happen. So thanks for coming. Please eat. There's plenty of good food here. Thanks, Bruce, Barbara, Chris, for uh, having this here. This is a fantastic venue. And it's always fantastic food. So, And after you have some more herbs, if you want to go out and have dinner or a cocktail, please do so. Thanks.